Hey, sweetheart. Looks like a cat or a small dog has slept in the back of the rickshaw last night. Which, not unexpected. Lucky I'm driving today. <laughs> we good to go. This driving is so much more relaxed than last night. Where are all the people? I suppose shops don't open till 10 and stuff, so. Yeah, I guess so. It's You're quiet. <laughs> yeah. So I had our sort of first run in with the police. They asked for a permit or a license. Tom pulled out his international driving license. They didn't even want to see it. No. Waved him off, like, whatever, get out of here. You can go. Because <laughs> the way that we understand it is this um, gate of India is actually private property. But like it's a private road and there's no rickshaws allowed. Maybe there's no rickshaws allowed in Mumbai. Maybe, I haven't seen any other rickshaws, so. Yeah, we're not, only ones. we're not sure what's going on, but yeah. We're not in trouble yet. Police don't care. No fucks given. Oh, I can't put that in there. <laughs> they don't care, we just walk straight through. Traffic police, I guess you'd call them. Not to drive on the wrong side of the road, but uh, uh, bugger it. We did it twice. Did it anyway, got some photos. It was pretty good. Reflections with the building in the background. Oh God, it's the fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? How are you? Good? Yeah. Good rickshaw? Yeah, very good. <laughs> Namaste. Yeah, how are you? How are you? Good? I don't think this is the right street, mate. <laughs> so I'm not 100% sure what happened, but uh, I got pulled out of the rickshaw by this cop and he insisted that I sit in his seat, take a drink of water, which I did not do, and uh, chew his chewing gum, which I did do. <laughs> Wait, he's chewing gum from his mouth? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, he came from his pocket. But yeah, I, I don't have no idea what's going on. Do you guys want to go? You want to head off? Yeah, yeah we're head off. Yeah. yeah. All right. I don't want to drink this water. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. See ya. Nobody wants a drink. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What was that? Bye bye. Yeah, what is he trying to sell? Phone, right? Just go. Just go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what was going on. He asked me if I wanted chai, cigarettes, and then he was doing like different yeah. movements. I'm pretty sure he said opium for one of them, but I'm not 100% sure. 
So we've come to a really nice part of Mumbai and up in this area they have a vegan burger kitchen so we've decided to splash out. It was quite expensive, it was about $8 Australian but we've ordered some vegan burgers. Now the place is just a kitchen only, there's no sort of shop front so we just parked the car here, and parked the rickshaw here, spoke to the hotel here and asked them to have it ordered here because the guy doesn't speak very good English. We filled up fuel on the side here while we're waiting. We literally just finished and old mates dropped it off so what have we got boys? How's it looking? Oh, it's tasting good. We got fries. And a burger. And a burger. Woohoo! Look at you white men. <laughs> now heading south out of Mumbai so it should take us about five hours to get out of Mumbai. sure what happened we got to the end of the expressway and uh, we got to the toll booth and the guy in camo walked over and he told us to move over so he could sit next to us and then he took us over to the police tent where we were given our first fine of equivalent four Australian yeah, dollars two, 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 <laughs> <laughs> but the photos are priceless but it was a legitimate fine like they wrote it out they wanted Sam's license so technically Sam's the only one that is actually licensed to drive this thing so. Oh, you, yeah, because in the UK there's like a three-wheeled vehicle or something. Yeah. And apparently that means I can drive a rickshaw. So. And we don't have that in Australia, so even though our international driver's license is international, it's for a car only. So, Sam took one for the team there. Good on you, champ. <laughs> 200 rupees, oh no. First day on the run where we've actually checked in before it's been night time. Uh, and you know, we get to unpack the rickshaw in daylight ish. Uh, yeah, ish. So we're in this tiny little town, really nice people. A local guy helped me find the hotel that we were told of. We got there, it was an absolute dive. The guy wasn't going to change on price. So he said, Why don't you stay where the temple worshippers stay? And I was like, Show me where the temple worshippers stay. And now we're here in an AC room for. 
twelve dollars. Um, was it six fifty? Yeah. Yeah. 12, yeah. twelve Australian dollars for all three of us. That's not each. We could have had it for three fifty if we wanted. We yeah, we could have gone non AC room, but you know what? You just got to live a little sometimes. Splurge in the AC. Good. The only problem with the AC. It's either on or off. There is no remote. <laughs> no, we found the remote. Oh, there is a remote? So now we're going to head out into the town. There's a heap of food, little food stalls here and whatnot. So find something for dinner and get a good night's sleep because I'm absolutely wrecked after editing that video last night. I'm hopefully not getting malaria. I'm not even <laughs> joking about that. <laughs> Way Don't to bring down the mood, Sam. <laughs> I hate my skipper. Lovely weather. So this morning situation is uh, packing the rickshaw in the rain. The important thing is we can get the bags on and dry. So we'll be putting those in the tarp first. But the other thing is it's very slippery. So wish us luck. So all in, all packed, thanks to the guys and their ponchos we got in. You guys say you're fairly dry under there? Yeah, just the arms are wet. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, too, not too bad. So that was really good. And uh, I didn't have to get too wet at all. So convenient <laughs> for me. Like <laughs> yeah, I, I changed in my Rajasthani get up for nothing. Anyway, we've got a uh, long way to go today. We're gonna go to Goa, so we're gonna try and get to Goa, see how we go. We're not sure how long it's been raining tonight, but hopefully it's not flooded. All right, so now we're sort of ready to head off, I guess, and, and get going. Hopefully we don't run into any flood waters. So something shit just really happened. Uh, we came off the road just around a corner too fast. And um, yeah, the rickshaw came off the road, so we're all good. The rickshaw seems okay, but we're definitely lucky, that's for sure. That's for sure.
So this is sort of what we have to do every 100 k's or so is put fuel into the fuel tank. So we get about 5.5 litres per 100 k's but we just don't have a big enough fuel tank. Imagine about a 60 litre tank, how good would that be? Right there. Every 100 to 110 k's this is what we have to do. Hey. My friend, Australia. Kenya. Australia. Australia. Do I look like I'm from okay. Kenya? No, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm blind now, so. Here we are. Going good. So that's uh, actually, we didn't have to put fuel in. We thought, like the symptoms were that we ran out of fuel. Turns out, the uh, the old spark plug lead had just fallen off. Awesome. And the way we can tell is that oh, full that five litres should go in the tank. <laughs> now, it's, the <laughs> <laughs> now it's just dumped fuel everywhere. So well, you just pour it. Well, I, when I looked at the case, I thought it was a little bit um, too short for a tank, but now we know. At least got a full thing of fuel now. So. English. English. So that's it guys, with five days left, I had to leave the rickshaw run, which was really sad and unfortunate, but for me personally, I needed to make that decision. So let me give you a background story. Hayley was in Indonesia while I was in India, and through a sequence of events and whatnot, she found herself in hospital. The tests that they were doing were pretty serious at the time when I found out, and with her history, it was just too risky for me to see how she goes for the next five days, because these next five days, traveling from Goa to Bangalore, were unknown. There was flooding all in South India, uh, train lines and highways were getting 
washed away. Airports at Kalara, Kalara was shut. So we didn't really know what was gonna happen. So I had this opportunity as we came into goal when Haley told me what was going on. I made a, a call then and there to leave the rickshaw run and go be with my wife because she needed me. Thankfully, Haley is all good now. She's uh, making slow recoveries every day, which is, which is awesome. And you know, if people ask me like why I left the rickshaw run or do I regret it? Absolutely not. I mean, my wife is the most important thing to me and she needed me at that time. So it was an easy decision to go. But the time that I was on the rickshaw run, it was just so much fun. There was so much adventure. Every day was a new challenge and a new laugh and a new experience. And I would highly recommend the rickshaw run for any adventurist out there that really, really wants to see something different and experience something in a different light. I've got to give a shout out to uh, my cousin Tom and a good friend Sam. You guys made that trip a lot of fun and thank you so much for, for keeping me safe and joining in the antics with me. I had an absolute blast and I hope you guys did too. After India and Indonesia, Haley and I came back to Australia just to make sure she could be ready for what we had coming up. So what we have coming up is we went to Norway, Iceland, Scotland and Thailand. And guys, if you've seen my Iceland drone video, which I'll put a, I'll put a link up here. So go to that link and that will give you an idea of some of the awesome landscapes that we were uh, experiencing in Iceland. I have a full series out of those coming out, so I cannot wait to bring those out. If you're wondering why I'm puffed, I'm back in my hometown of Port Stephens, New South Wales, Australia on the Stockton Dunes. Not only are the dunes steep, but I also had too many samosas, I think. Oh boy, I got some work to do. But guys, I got some collabs coming up, uh, so keep your eye out for those and a whole heap of new content, so. But I just want to give a big shout out to uh, everyone who watches the videos week in, week out. You know, leaves me comments, leaves me thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoy my style of video, which is a little bit serious, a little bit funny, a little bit stupid, and a little bit, I don't know what I'm doing most times. Ooh. All right, Haley, I promise I'll cut out the samosas. But thanks for the new subscribers as well. I hope you enjoy the content. I got a heap more coming. I got a heap in the behind me, metaphorically, so make sure you check those out too. But for now, I'm gonna strip off my Rajasthani whites and we'll go for a swim.